What's going on? Hey, enough said. No introduction needed. Anthony Lanier. It only took you about 11 games last year to establish yourself as one of the most dominating players on defense in the Canadian Football League. Savannah, Georgia. Yes, sir. Talk right about on. growing up in Savannah, man, because you got Big Boy from Outcast from yep. Savannah. You got Aaron Jones from the Green Bay Packers. Exactly. From Indiana. What, what was it like growing up there? It was beautiful. Don't forget Fly J. Johnson. She just won the championship with LSU as well. Right. But yeah, we got Daryl Johnson. We got a couple more athletes coming out from Georgia, coming out of Savannah now. Okay. It was beautiful growing up in Savannah, you know, very family oriented, and everybody took care of each other, knowing each other. Yeah. Um, are there any are there anybody particular from Savannah, whether it's entertainer, uh, athlete that, that you looked up to and drew motivation for your career? Well, actually, it was Frank Kirsch uh, more than anything for me because he also went to my college, Alabama A&M University, and also went into the NFL, and he actually played for the Washington Redskins as well at the time. Oh, just like yes. you? Yes, definitely. So he was a big bro to me. He kind of gave me a little bit of a game plan and a path to understand where I was getting to next. So you're also from a pretty historic place in Savannah. Yes. Carver Heights. Yes. Talk to Ryder Nation a little bit about growing up in Carver Heights and more importantly what the significance of it is. Yeah, the significance of it, it was a black community that the first black community to also let black uh, families own homes in the area. So they didn't really have to leave. They had the jobs there, they had the laundromats, they had the daycares, they had everything they needed right there in their own in their own backyard basically. Well, me being out there was so special because it, you could see the community latching on to me through all the good people that we had. Dorothy Pelo, Pam Delos, those are the type of people, my grandfather, you know, just people who really cared about the community from the top to the bottom. So they started programs for us when we were younger, so we would do the same type of things as we got older. And they always stuck with me that they took the time out of their life to put back into us. So let me ask you something. Is that where you came out with the Undefeated Warrior Foundation? Well, because yes. you, like, talk to the Rider Nation about that. That's really interesting, and it, it's going to touch the hearts of a lot of people. Thank you. Now, Undefeated Warrior Foundation, it starts off there. That's why I grew my love for the community yet, because the community that I grew up in put love and, you know, passion into me about being, one, an accountable person, but two, also to care about the community. Undefeated Warrior came from just, you know, going through life, you know, we go through different trials and tribulations of people telling us we can and can't do things and overcoming them through God. And also when I went to Jenkins High School in my, in Savannah, um, is the Warriors as well. So that's what the Warrior Oh, is, okay, right? cool. Right. So what's the website so where people can check that out? www.undefeatedwarrior.org. www.undefeatedwarrior.org. One of the coolest things uh, about you, man, is when we were, we were preparing for this whole thing, you're one of the only guys I've ever met that's actually met Kobe Bryant. Yes, man. Yes, it was a very special encounter. Was there anything that he, any knowledge he imparted on you, um, any any wisdom he dropped that, that still resonates with you today? Yeah, yes, and it was that I had to see a vision for myself. He um, actually pulled me to the side. He says, the vision that you see is not the vision that everybody else can see. It's up to us to show them the vision, but not make them see the vision. They just see the fruits of the blessings that you leave people. Oh, man, that's crazy. That really fits your, your ethos too, man, you. with all the way back to the foundation and your love for Carver Heights and Carver Homes. So with Kobe, let me ask you something, a real important question. Yeah. What's your Mount Rushmore of athletes? Like who are the four athletes that you yourself draw incredible inspiration from? Um, well, first of all, I'm going to give it to Kobe because, you know, rest in peace to him. And then I'm going to have to go with LeBron, of course, okay. Michael Jordan. But also, I would like uh, to give a shout out to like Robert Mathis because also being in the footsteps in the path, Robert Mathis was one of the biggest people out of Alabama A&M that I had heard about playing defensive line coming through All college. Yeah, so I, I also looked at him as well, and I just want to give him a give him his flowers as well. Yeah, because Robert Mathis is a beast. Yes, he is. And he's one of, as a defensive lineman, he always used to say, it's, it's always pass. Definitely. <laughs> it's always pass. Definitely. It's never the run. Definitely. And you're passing out here, man. So you excited about the year coming up? Definitely excited to see the new guys coming in and the, some of the guys that we have returning and seeing all the chemistry that we built yeah. and some of the new chemistry mixed together. I think it's going to be a great, great product. Let me ask you something. Before we go, we're dropping you off at 1612 Osler Street Thank here you. in your dorm. So, big game. Let's say the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and the Riders, the records are, are equal. Coming into Labor Day, what's on your playlist? On my playlist, I'm going to start off with a little bit of Fly J, 
uh, before I get out the house, and then I go, when I get into the car, I listen to a little bit of uh, Everybody Loves the Sunshine. Okay. And then once I get into the room, it's more kind of like a Kondo, uh, NBA that's Young what, Boy. That's you're yeah, at. I'm getting after, you know, getting ready to, you know, yeah. let the dog out that cage, do. man. Hey, you got the word, man. Well, hey, thanks for joining us for on Car too. Combos, man. Thank hey, you. stay healthy, have a great camp, and we'll see you out there. All right, thank you, man. Anthony Lanier. See you.